What's up, YouTube fam? It's your girl, Shantae, but you can call me Tay, and welcome to my channel. This will be my first video that I'm posting here on YouTube, so we're going to start with a get ready with me, everyday makeup look, something you can wear to work, school, to run an errand, or wherever. Your girl got you covered. This video is definitely going to be affordable, so we'll be working with some of the drugstore brands, regular beauty supply store stuff, and a little bit of the tidbits that I get in my monthly Etsy subscription. So if you into this, stay tuned and stick around. Don't forget to leave your girl a comment down below. Give me some suggestions. I'm in no way a makeup artist or makeup guru. So, so your suggestions are welcome. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and spread the love. Share with a friend, a friend, your sister, your mama, and your auntie. Because everybody needs to get into this everyday makeup look. Without further ado, let's get to it. CoverGirl Outlast Matte Foundation. I'll give you a disclaimer right now. Your girl can't see. So I'm not going to be sitting here trying to read all of these small words. I'm going to give you a close-up so you can see what your girl talking about. And yeah. So this is what we're going to do. So being that this is an everyday look, we're not going to apply a whole lot of foundation to the face. This is not a glam look. We're not going for a major beat. This is everyday. We got this. Relax. All right, as soon as I want to come out. All right, so we'll do two little piece eyes over here. And we'll rinse and repeat on the other side. If you catch me looking down, remember I'm new. So still got to use a little side mirror. Get me through because this you find ain't working. All right, so we're going to spread this out. This little brush, my bad started too soon this is lightning crew i believe hopefully this is working out and it's not upside down if it is give your girl a break okay like i said in the intro it gets better don't worry yeah so i'm gonna use this brush and i'm just kind of gonna spread the foundation out across my face and over my eyelids a little bit Got this little raccoon thing going on, girl. I don't know about you, but I do my best to try to, you know, fix those little areas without doing too much at the same time. We're gonna go to the next side and we're just gonna smooth this foundation out and around the face, looking real olive -y. Don't worry, it comes together, I promise. It comes together. So, who else out there was scared to make their first YouTube video and be saying, I'm gonna do it. Like you're about to jump in the double dutch rope. You're like, about to get it. Now wait, wait. That's been your girl. For the last, I'll say about two years, I'm like, well, I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna do a video. I'm gonna start a YouTube. Your girl 41 now. But here I am in all my glory. So now that we move this foundation out across my face, I know you can see it looks a little blotchy, but that's where this beauty blender comes in. I'm not gonna wet it or anything. Remember, this is all affordable stuff. So this is drugstore brand. I got this from my local beauty supply store. Sorry about the light guys, but it was $4.99. You get three sponge. I like this one with a little flat surface and a little angle at the top. Good for underneath the eyes. So I'm just gonna start pouncing and pushing this makeup into my skin, guys. It's not wet, it's a dry beauty blender. But I'm just going to keep on pouncing. You don't want to smudge or drag because then you'll move the product around. You want to keep the product where it is, but you just want to blend it out, girl. So pounce, baby, pounce. Okay, go around the mouth. I know most people clean that up with their concealer, but listen, I'm gonna put the foundation on, it's gonna cover everything it needs to cover. You feel me? All right, if you guys are inquiring, you see me lifting, if you catch my lace, don't trip, okay? She is not installed, she's just sitting. <laughs> my crown might be crooked, but it's never falling. But yeah, if you're interested in this wig, she is from Tanashi. 
I love the balayage on it. Um, Tanashi is my go-to, hands down. Been using them for years, this is not sponsored. Um, but I'll come back with another video. She's just sitting, my beautiful baby washed it for me last night. Appreciate you, Dessa. And right now I just sat it on top of my head to come and give y'all this look. Right, so if you guys are interested in seeing me try to slay my unit and come back with this beat, let me know. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Tell me what you're feeling, you're liking the vibes, you're feeling your girl. I'm all about the energy. So tell me, how's the energy for you? All right, so now that that is blended, I think that's pretty good. All right, we're gonna go in with the all time favorite from everybody, everybody on YouTube, Gurus. Okay, the CoverGirl Pro Concealer. Yes, your girl has one too. All right, so again, I'm gonna turn this around for y'all because we ain't even about to do it. Can you see it? Whatever the color is, that one. All right. So, we're gonna add a little bit of product. Make sure you get some to the tip. And I'm going this way. All right, and you just wanna make sure you get that concealer close up underneath the eye. If you have those raccoon dark spots like me, um, you wanna make sure you get it close to cover as much as possible and bring it down the bridge of your nose if you're trying to slim it out a little bit. Me, I like the cute little button, so I'm not doing too much. But from watching YouTube, I know that the gurus of the beauty world and the mothers out here and the MUAs, um, you know, they tell you to keep your concealer right here. Don't go past the corner of your eye because then it'll give you the kind of lifted look. And if you're not looking for that snatch, honey, keep it right here. Keep it natural. Keep it cute. It's every day. We're gonna go over to the other eye. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to mess with y'all, okay? <laughs> Got your girl out here like she a pro. Not yet, not yet. All right, so man, I can't see y'all. So I gotta swing away a little bit, making sure I'm getting even coverage up underneath my eye and dragging that out where it needs to be. Okay, and for me, that's good. I know they be like, oh, make sure it's even, girl. We not beauty gurus, we just trying to get through the day. All right? Mess with you, I got you. And then we're gonna take whatever's left down here on this thing, and we're just gonna add a little bit there, and a little bit here. You don't need to add any more product. And bring that line straight down your nose. Okay? Like so. Now, I'm gonna go back into my beauty blender. And right here on my forehead, I'm just gonna start pouncing to blend this in. It doesn't need to sit that much. Um, I don't want it to be as bright as underneath my eyes. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend these out now. While under my eyes get a little tacky. All right, how we looking, girls? <laughs> All right, and then down the bridge of the nose, we're just gonna pounce on that nice little edge this thing has here. And yes, this is the same one that I blended my foundation out with, All right? So it's gonna kind of bring things together for you. All right, nice, nice. Okay, so now I think my eyes just a little tacky enough, give it a little 30 seconds or so. And now we're gonna go in and I'm gonna squeeze it so that way I get a nice little tight angle to go up underneath my eye and I'm going to blend. Remember, you are pouncing. Just bounce the beauty bender against your skin. Do not drag it. You do not want to move the product. So try to keep it in place. And if you make a little mistake, don't worry about it. We can go in and clean it up. And if you like, and you wanna brighten right underneath your nose a little bit, you can kinda just use whatever's left and bounce it downward and around the nose, okay? 
yes this looks a little crazy don't worry we're gonna go back in with our brush and we're gonna soften out that edge and blend all of those things in so we have no line of demarcation or harsh lines on our face okay and we just gonna take whatever's left on here and pounce it on top of your eyelid wake those eyes up hello sunshine hello see look good already mm hmm Get in there. All right. Again, we're just gonna get that in there, and what is ever's left over, we're gonna take it over the eyelids. Okay. Take it over the eyelids, and again, don't worry about the side because we're going to blend that out as well. And again, if you like, you can always bring that down and around the nose and lighten up that area. So here we are. When in doubt, I don't know where my Ruby Kisses um, foundation is that I used to contour with, but that's okay because I have this True Beauty, I don't let your girl wipe it off for you, um, and sorry if the light, that's what it looks like, here's the back, alright, and it's not labeled or anything like that, but your girl is going to go in with this matte brown shade here. And we're gonna go in there and I might even mix this with a little bit of this for my contour I don't like to contour too dark or too heavy remember this is every day I'm going to take my paddle brush okay and I'm going to wipe it across and wipe it across and then I'm going to start up here and bring that line down. See you guys? Now that we have that, I'm gonna use a smaller paddle brush on the end. And yes, is she using a paddle brush, brush to blend? Yes, she is. The truth about it is, guys, you can use whatever you want to use, you know? Um, whatever works for you. I like to use my ingenuity and think outside the box. Um, I'm still waiting for some new brushes in the mail. So that's why I'm just using what's here in front of me. And that's cool. All right, so here's the contour. And I'm gonna go in and blend it a little bit more, but I wanna come on this side really quickly and just, again, add that contour right where I need it, right up in there, you guys see it, see the two colors, so who said that eyeshadow can't make it out here in these streets, it's making it for me, um, and again, I'm going to leave that there, take the smaller side, and though this is against the rules, guys, I'm going to just School, just a little bit just to ease it up some right okay and I'll come back in a minute to that but what I want to do is use the rest of this product and kind of come across my forehead a little bit and down the sides of my nose you guys see that Not too dark, not too harsh. Again, this is every day, natural beat. So, try to give you kids something cute to go out with, you know, go to work with. You going to school? Go to school with. Add or subtract a little, depending on the grade. So, again, 
right down the side of the bridge of your nose. Take it in to the brow and boop right across the front. Now, if you guys hear some background noise, pardon me, I am a mother. Okay, so my children are up and they're in the background. However, let's get back to this makeup. I'm gonna use this little bullet brush that I have here and I'm just gonna go up and down the sides of the bridges of my nose to blend that contour a little bit. And you can even get in there with your fingers if you want, right? And it's simple. Again, it's simple and light. So that's it for that. Um, I'm going to go back in with the larger side of the paddle. And I'm going to take that darker shade here. And, you know, I'm going to get familiar with it real quick. And this is just so that way I can snatch this jawline, right? Everybody wants a slim jawline, no double chins in my photo. So yeah, this is why we're doing this. And hmm, working it out with your group. I'm gonna go back in really quickly. Again, with that same foundation brush. I know, yuck. I said it earlier, right? It gets better. All right, so I'm gonna use that same foundation brush and I'm just gonna go over that contour kind of lightly and over where we did that um, highlight underneath our eyes and just kind of blend out those edges a little bit. We're not doing the most, guys. Again, we're just softening the edges and making everything blend together, right? Because that's the ultimate goal. Okay, now to spice it up a little, where is she, where is she, where is she? This is her, you know, this is a highlight and she glows, just in case you wanna see. And I got this from Etsy, so this did come in one of my subscription packages, okay? And we'll take the sides of that brush and just kind of going upward kind of strokes right put your highlight where you need it to be and voila that blue shimmer a little shine I love shine all right so now that we did that um we're going to go in with our LA colors. And this is it here. And I think it's called Glow. But we'll be bronzing. Okay, so it's a really nice bronzer. And you'll see once it gets on to the face. Just gonna swirl that around there like so. And I also like to mix this as well, just to deepen it a little bit with my girl Riri Fancy Beauty. It's a fancy glow, but I'll put it here. Hopefully, you guys can see. All right. And the color is so beautiful. So I like to mix these two together right to give me a really nice um, bronzer so I like to bronze here and bring that up right. kind of set that bronze right on top of that contour open up the face a little bit not open it up but Give the face a little warmth. Child, stop flying out my mouth. OK. 
okay? All right, so now that we're done with bronzing, I like to get up in there, get up in there. Okay. I like to leave my brows for last. I should have done them first because I'm not a brow whiz. But before we get into that, let me get my blush. So I've been using this Milk Makeup a blush eyeshadow type thing that was sent to me by Epsi. And I'll do like this so you can see. And I like to pop that right here on the apples of my cheeks. Not much, just right on the apples of my cheeks. And I like to use my fingers for some reason for this because it's creamy and just kind of blend that in a little bit. And I like to sometimes bring it over my nose, add some color back to my face. Okay, guys? All right. These brows, honey. These brows. I don't even think I'm ready. I'm not ready. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. They need to be done as well. So this is going to be a challenge. So this is definitely one of those looks like didn't make it for my pampering appointments it for all of my beauty appointments. So I got to do what I got to do real quick and, you know, pull through in a clutch. So that's what we call it today. In a clutch, everyday makeup. I don't know what it is about this brow pencil, but for me, it is everything. <clears throat> I like the way that it comes up. Nice, like that. So it twists up and down, and it's at an angle. But what I love about it most is it is like the perfect brown for my lip liner. I went to the drugstore and tried and tried, but the brown's just a never the right fit. If you come in a little closer, you can kind of see my brown outline of my lips and this to the teeth. All right, so catch a girl over here real quick. Let me line my lips and I'll be back. Okay, here we are with the lining of the lips. I overline just a little bit to give them a little extra pout. How you doing? <laughs> In my windy voice. All right, so we're gonna close that up. A great little lip tint that I've received that I've been going crazy over lately um, is this Lottie Slay All Day. And this came in the mail to me um, in my subscription. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, not sure if you guys can see that, but there it is, okay? What I use this for is to tip my lips inside, right? And I just follow that line that I put. And I press it in. Not trying to disturb the liner too much just yet. Press it in and yeah. Always keep some paper towels. And now, as you can see, it is coming together. So now that I did that, I'm gonna take my little piece of paper towel that I ripped off really quickly and I'm going to smudge. And the reason for the smudge is, is because your girl is not a lipstick girl. Sorry. Right? But I like the lip combo that I'm about to show you guys. So it's kind of a must that I have this as a base. But we don't want it bright. So the next thing we're going to be using is this cream lip color here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe not. Promise you I'll get better at this. 
and I like to pop this right here. Bro, you like tape? What are you doing? Pop it right there and just do a little bit of this. And as you can see, those two colors blended together gives you a really cute brown girl friendly nudie pink. What you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna go over her with a little bit of this NYX Cosmetic Butter Gloss I Stand by Butter Gloss. They're tinted, they're moisturizing, they're not sticky. Excellent. So if you're a gloss girl like me, try it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, now mind you, I'm swirling, girl, because like I said, I live by blood of gloss. So this thing almost empty, but we just gonna take a little bit. And we gonna roll her in there, right? We're gonna roll her in there because the the liquid lipstick is a matte. And then the cream lip color. And all I did was just fix up the bottom line really quick. Right? Because we still want to be able to identify that. And yeah. So this is the lips, not too heavy, not too much. You can take this to work, brunch, date, girls night, store run, whatever. She works, okay? So here we are, this is the finished product. Tell me what you think about the look. Your girl came through in a clutch and on a budget. You don't have to do much when you gotta get up and go. Simple everyday makeup look to the gods and your girl is here to serve all day so if you like the look make sure you leave a comment down below make sure you like this video show your girl some love and make sure you share don't forget to subscribe if you're feeling the vibe and for you gurus out there if you got any tips for me make sure you leave a comment down below i love to hear from you and i'll see you in my next video